Joe. Don't get too comfortable, Joe. It's the instant reaction show. Put your cushion away, Joe. Wake up! Oh, sorry, guys. Hello? It's uh, Joe cool. Beardsall for Red Orb. Instant reaction falling back. Nil-nil draw with Coventry. Yes. It's falling asleep. Your instant reaction, Joe. That's is that is that what you're trying to tell me? I needed a nap after that one, mate. Did we play well in second half? Oh, dear me. We were better in the second half than the first half. The first half, we, we weren't properly at the races, were we? Uh, Coventry, much, much, much quicker into the tackle. Pressed us like we normally press teams. Uh, not unlike, in its own way, not unlike um, uh, Luton did. But they didn't, give the, they didn't just clog it forward like Luton did. So they did all right. And we had a couple of chances that, you know, one of them things. They could have taken the lead with the header against the bar. And that, that made us vulnerable, I think, throughout the match. You know, whether it was a set play, you know, corner, free kick, they were winning a number in the air, uh, and, and that were a bit concerning. Which is why, when it got to half time and they took my, uh, Michael Helik off, um, I'm thinking, oh, flipping heck. You know, we take, we, we're struggling in the air, but we're taking a tall, a tall defender off. So, a bit worried. But when Freezer came on, I thought we played much better with the, uh, the four at the back of the diamond formation. And the two front, I thought he played pretty reasonably. He didn't waste any passes. Too many times we're giving the ball away. The, the last pass, sloppy, sloppy sometimes in our passing. The last pass, just quite, just behind him, just, just not quite right. And, and and the shooting, oh dear me, dear me, dear me. The shooting, you know, we take a touch and we take it to, we take it wide and and then miss it gets blocked or we miss. We take it first time and somehow. It, it finish, finishes up over the stand, you know, ballooning them. It's, uh, we, we really do need to concentrate better, whether they're trying too hard or what, I don't know, just swinging, on, I don't know, but the shooting, the shooting's got to improve. The last pass, or all passes, has got to be less sloppy than it was, was today. Second half, much better, much better though. Just, um, to, just to let the fact, though, I was I wasn't awake for the second half, believe it or not. I know it's surprising, isn't it? I did actually stay awake. Uh, Andy, I'd say, are we... Are we gonna? We're not gonna score till Christmas, but I think that's been a bit generous because Christmas is coming up quite soon. Not not long at this rate. No, uh, I hope it's not going to be the same as last year. Where I know you're gonna, I know you want to bring it up, Joe. Where we beat Fulham in the first match and then didn't win again until Christmas. I knew you were going to bring it up, so I thought I'll get it in first. Cheers, mate. Um, Cheers, and mate. I have to say, uh, and I have to say, I feel for you yesterday. You, you, you reach the heights by your interviewing Gerhard Struhl, but today you're down back in the dumps interviewing me. No wonder you're falling asleep. It's not a good look, Joe, by the way. Well, you don't look at your best well, when you sleep. I don't want to worry any Reds fans, but I've never seen uh, New York Red Bulls nil-nil in, in, in MLS. There's plenty of goals. <laughs> so, well, so I hope he doesn't change it. Well, I hope he doesn't decide, that well, decide make his decision for him, but... Uh, genuinely, well, well, I've joked a lot in this, but let's just talk serious for a second because you've been pretty serious. I haven't. Um, uh, it were a boring game, weren't it? And I, I just where where are the goals going to come from? What's the problem at the, at the minute? Is it confidence? Is it that psychological thing that they're thinking about it too much? What is happening to us? Because we showed last season we could win games one nil. All right, we weren't top scorers in league, but we we showed we can win. At minute, we don't look like we're going to score. I, I don't know, Joe, to be honest. It's not that we haven't got goal scorers in the team. You know, Connor Chaplin, Carly Woodrow. We've got players that can score just as two. Schmidt, we've got players that can score goals. It's just not happening. And I don't know if it's confidence. I don't know if it's the trying too hard. But it's it's not good. You know, Alex Mowat, he's always had a good shot on him. And, and lately, and you know, towards the end of last season, lately, everything he seems to do goes over the bar. You know, Simoa's had a lovely chance. And he's, I'm, sh I'm shouting at the television, smack it, and trying to place it in the top corner, and he's just over the bar. Too many are just over the bar. You know, it's just... They just need to they just need to relax, but concentrate. Concentrate on the last pass. Make sure it's right. Don't be sloppy, and really go for it. And if you're not sure, you know, take a touch and blather it, rather than try to tickle about with it. You know, if you tickle about if you're low on confidence and you're trying to place it, it don't work. If you're low on confidence, just smack it. And that's, you know, but keep it down. Lean forward. Don't lean back, lean forward. And it's difficult if you lean forward when you're shooting to put it over the bar. I know even I've tried to do that. Even I can't, mind you, with the way I shoot, I can't get over the bar anyway at the minute. 
But lean forward, that's what they need to do. We need a striker. It'll book them all up and we need a striker. Let's hope next week brings us a striker that actually can score goals. No point in having a striker that can't score goals. So let, let's hope. I've got to ask the question, and this might be me, but do you think that the fact this strike has been talked about so much by fans and how much we need a striker and we're not scoring goals, as it got to the players, has it started to creep into their mentality because they're thinking, oh, everybody's expecting it needs us to score and they're all putting pressure on us. Has the pressure got to them in that way, do you think? Or is it just a case of, I don't know, we've just not managed to put ball it back at net and we've created some decent chances? What do you think? Three, three league matches without scoring a goal brings its own pressure on everybody, but particularly the strikers who, although you want everybody to, to score goals if they can, there's more pressure on strikers because that's their stock in trade, isn't it? So, so there's that. For me, the professional footballers, the thought about bringing, a stri- bringing another striker in, that, that shouldn't worry him. You know, Jacob Brown's gone, so that's, that's one striker. It's replacing him. I, I, I don't see why that should make any difference. If it, I would expect the talk about bringing another striker in would get them going more, but make them more determined to score. Um, you know, Gerhard has said this last week, um, I want to bring a striker in because for whatever reason, we're not scoring and we need to score goals. That that would work as a fill-up for me, you know, to, to really concentrate and really work hard to score a goal. And I think the working hard, it's just not coming off. And I, I've, I, I'll tell you, somebody, if it, if it, if it comes off, somebody's going to get a tonking. Might not be this side of Christmas at this rate, but somebody's on for a tonking. Mate, I'll know tell you this, Joe. You know, so you're scoring one goal, never mind three or four. Uh, let's talk about other things. But well, actually, we'll finish on this, and then we'll t- just mention um, obviously the links to Red Bull, uh, New York Red Bulls that Gerhard Schuber might. You know, there have been that rumor this week that he might be off. Uh, we'll talk. We'll just mention that in case he does, if he was to leave uh, before the next uh, big Red Bull show this week. Um, Contender for the most boring game you've ever watched? You've watched football for a lot more years than me, but I'd say it's definitely my, probably my top three. Thanks for that, Joe. I, I'll tell you, though, when we were in the old fourth division, there were many more boring matches than that. I've seen matches where there's been no chances created and nobody's looked like scoring ever. So it's, it's got a long way to go be, be, be the most boring match. Well, what's, what were interesting for me, I might, I, I might have talked, that... We had 23 predictions this week on our, on our main show. Not one person, not one person uh, predicted a nil-nil draw. Three people predicted draws, but nobody said nil-nil, which is uh, maybe there'll be quite a few next week since we haven't scored a goal. But we'll see, won't we? But then again, nobody predicted that we'd lose either. So, you know, that I, th- I think we're forever hopeful. Forever positive and hopeful. Barnsley fans being positive and Barnsley fans being hopeful. It's a good sign. I don't know. You're, you're really? you, man. You're, 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 you're. I'm going happy clappy on you, I thought we could have done with that referee from Reading game just to spice it up by sending somebody off. It was that boring. <laughs> they should have had something to talk oh, about. You've been one of our players you sent off. Well, yeah. yeah. Been, I thought the referee did all right. Yeah, moving on then. Think, uh, yeah, think... So, links to Gerhard Struve moving to New York Red Bulls. Um, I tried to convince him that it's too expensive and they don't make a good cup of tea in New York. It's not like Yorkshire tea over here, is it? Uh, what do you reckon? Are you on? The, do you think he's going to go? I mean, I had fans uh, all messaging. Oh, is yeah, he's off, and some fans are saying, oh no, he might be stopping. And what you know, I don't know who's telling me what here. But anyway, I spoke to Struber, and he did seem, you know, obviously, you know, I spoke to him at press this week, uh, and he did talk a lot about signings and seemed to mention a lot about his plans in the next few, you know, coming months. Um, it didn't give me the sense that he was immediately going to walk out the door. He's got his suitcase waiting outside press room, and after Coventry, we're going to, you know, get on a plane to New York if he can get on a plane to New York. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, but at the same time, the rumours has been quite strong, and some people have put it out there, at certain sources, and just been like, "Yeah, he's off." So, what do you think? What's your thoughts as a fan? Well, for me, I don't want him to go for, for, for a couple of reasons. One is I think he's a decent manager. and I, I think he's, he's, you know, he'll, he'll do very well for us. Uh, and it, th- there's also the, the, the stability aspect that there's been, you know, we're, we're getting through too many managers as well. You know, that we, we need to become more stable um, as, as a club who's running the club because the manager goes and it changes, you know, it, it changes other things, changes personnel and all that. So I don't want him to, I don't know why he would choose Central Park in New York to Lock Park in Barnsley. No idea why I would do that. That bandstand in Lock Park was banging, mate. It's lovely. I go running in Lock Park sometimes. Really nice. 
I mean, remember, New York were named after York in Yorkshire. So, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's the second best, isn't it, really, to Yorkshire. So I, I, I wouldn't think so. But, Joe, when it comes down to it, we'll still be fans, won't we? You know, it, it, what will be, will be. If it's what he wants to do and what, what we, you know, th then he'll do it. If he don't, don't. And, you know, What's I happened hope to you he stays. I'll be really positive. For your you, last last season, end of last season, you went all negative on us, and now you seem like I thought you were going to come on today. And be like, yeah, I'm wasting my Saturday afternoon. Go to this water. Now we are being all positive. Just a minute, just a minute. We've been flipping rubbish. It's about time we scored a goal, and I've well, had enough better. of it. Give it, give that it. To it. <laughs> that's what the fans is. If he goes, <laughs> if he goes, get your sen off if that's what you want to do. Go on, see if I'm bothered. I'm not bothered. Go on, you do what you want. All right, is that better? Well, maybe not the end bit. I don't want. Really? I don't want. I don't want Struby to leave. But you did all right with the book your ideas up, lads. That was oh. like, uh, to Good. finish. Um, CEO um, Dave Murphy put out a, quite a long-winded sort of statement answering several questions about all sorts of things. You might, if you're not seen it, it's been on uh, Barnsley's um, official pages and everything. Um, what did you think to the stuff in that? Obviously, saying about you know. Clause in Struber's contract, but wanting to stay, hoping he's going to stay, and then you've got the striker thing as well, where he missed out on the the I think it's Croatian lad. Uh, um, sorry, I forgot his name. Instant reaction show. I've not I'm not got it written down to be honest. Um, so yeah, and but we're still looking and hoping for a striker. What do you think to all that to finish? I, th I think what Dan said was quite uh, quite straightforward and quite honest. Really, uh, I, I don't I don't think there's much more you can do than be as honest as he was. Don't worry about the uh, the striker that's not coming. He's not coming. Don't care what they call him. They can get his sent off to wherever he's gone. Not I mean, bothered. it takes me half a season to learn names anyway, Andy, so I'm not going to start learning names of a lad who's not coming. And I don't tell by saying the freezer and the helicopter and all that. I know I'm not helping, but at least, well, you know, at least Carrie Bradshaw's no longer with us, so at least there's that, Joe. So, I don't know. So, good. I, I actually think fair play today um, for coming out and saying all that because fans were feeling a bit frustrated, didn't know what were happening, whether Struber was going to go or not. I know we still don't know. Uh, but at least he you know, came out, fair play to him. He answered a few questions about a few issues and I think it kind of made us all feel a bit better uh, until um, today's game, <laughs> which <laughs> has brought us all back down again. Uh, but a big, you know, a, a striker... Well, no, I keep saying big striker. It's because Josh keeps going on about he don't want to target man. A striker and um, who can score goals and maybe kick up bum for everybody else in terms of goals department. So we we'd be alright, I think, but uh, not going to get too disheartened at this point. Even though I know fans will be shouting at the screen now, saying you know it's not it's not good enough, which it's not at the minute. I mean, one point out of possible nine is not great, is it? But ah, this is only third life, match, Joe. Only third match. Keep happy clapping. Keep doing Gladys Peel. Keep, keep clapping. It's all right. Morning got, campus. We'll I think be all right. Two more happy clapping days. Two more happy clapping matches in me, and then if we've not won by then, I'll, I'm. Uh, <laughs> then you'll slowly see me turning back to, to negativity again. But I will try to stay positive, uh, just mainly because I enjoy abuse on Twitter. It's great fun uh, <laughs> for saying positive. Um, but I have to say, I just thought today was dull as dishwater. Um, yeah, that's just ah. Just, that's the only way I can sum it up. I just thought it was really boring. And uh, I know we did a little bit better in the second half. Um, I'm going to... We'll just finish by man of the match, as hard as it is, because it weren't a great game. Mads Anderson, for me, did everything right. Thought he played yeah, well. Anderson or Saul Bauer, for me, they both played, both played quite well at the back. Well, both played solid at the back. So, yeah, either of them. I'd be happy with Mads Anderson. Again, a good performance by him. Cool. Well, uh, that is the instant reaction show. Barnsley drawing nil nil with Coventry. One point out of possible nine. Not the greatest start. Um, I think that's been kind for the Reds in the league. But fingers crossed, get that striker in. Go how Struber stays. And uh, we can build on that and hopefully um, push on next next week, obviously, in the next game. Uh, the show for the week will be up midweek, as per usual, usually around Wednesday or Thursday, just depending on how, how quick I get around to editing it, to be honest with you. Uh, but probably, Put your probably finger Wednesday. out, Joe. 
Get your finger uh, pulled out and get on with time, it. Time, you know, when we're doing it. You know, it. I mean, this Zoom one's not so hard, but when we're doing all different angles in Garrison or one at pubs, you know what I mean? It's a bit. It's hard. Get on with it. Get on with it. You're a professional. Get on with it. I'm not a professional. <laughs> uh, right. So, yeah, big show coming up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please don't give it a thumbs down just because we were uh, boring to watch against Coventry and it were a dull game. And uh, click subscribe because, Andy, we've been here three weeks on YouTube and we've nearly hit. 500 subscribers. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. You can't thank, can't thank the Barnsley public and Barnsley fans or all other fans. You know, I know people who aren't Barnsley fans who subscribe to us. It's, it's, it's lovely to see that we either we're doing something right or people really want to find, to, to, to know about things and to, 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 to listen and get involved in discussions. You know, we get lots of comments on the, on the, um, on the YouTube shows. And I think, you know, keep them coming. Keep them coming, whether it's predictions for the next matches or comments. Really, really look forward to reading them. So, you know, yeah, really, really sure pleased with the response. If you've got friends who you think might like the show, uh, please get them to subscribe. Um, let's see if we can get to 500 before Barnsley score a goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't think we're in too much danger at the moment. Uh, right, this has been Red All Over. Instant Reaction. We'll catch you in the week.